So I thought I'd uh, change up today and do an outside video. Just chilling out in my local park. I thought I'd do a video on what is meditation because normally when I talk to people they refer to meditation as a tool to relax, to be more chilled out. And I think with meditation there's a deeper purpose for it. There's a much grander goal that you can gain from it. And what I think meditation truly is, is as an opportunity to better understand who you are, to get better acquainted of what sort of individual you are. And the, the reason for this is I've been reading a bit of Osho, to, uh, a bit of Osho recently and he's been talking about emotion and he says that through meditation, through being still and being silent, um, you have this opportunity to better understand who you are. Although I think you can still accomplish it through the, the movement type meditations like walking meditation and um, even through making noise like the chants that you sometimes make through uh, meditation, you can still have that opportunity to better understand yourself. But I do think it is valuable to be silent to cut out that mental chatter that you have in your mind because language is only a tool for other people. I mean, you can gain great benefits from language by communicating. You can gain better ideas and better understanding about things. But primarily it's a tool for communication to better understand other, other individuals around you. And through language there's been the creation of labels. Um, if you sort of look at Becker and Box's perspective on like labelling theory and criminology, labels can create offenders. It can inspire people to commit to offender activities and even language um, itself is influenced by institutions and through that it influences how you use language how you think about things if you look at like Foucault's perspective on it you, you can gain a better insight into it but that's the sort of importance that you need to cut out that mental chatter, cut out language. Because with the language and labels, um, it, has, it has formed an ident identity of who you are from other people. Even your, even your own name is not useful for you. It's only more useful for other people. And with that name comes an identity and you know you just need to strip away from all that those ideas of who you think you are how you think other people view you uh, just strip away the labels that you think people have given you like for myself people regard me as somebody who's healthy on a on a health kick whatever that is um, and through that they treat me in certain ways so you just need to strip the labels and uh, to strip language to really understand who you are at the at the core of it through meditation through connecting your mind and body as one through understanding the breath you really see who you are and when you strip away labels um, and judgments on what happens in your body and in your mind if thoughts come across or if feelings come across during your meditation then just let them happen and see just be aware as Osho would say um, just observe but don't judge it don't label it just observe and just see what happens and then you become more observant more aware of who you are
and that's what I see meditation as as an opportunity to really understand who you are at the at the bare bones of it through coming to the core of who you are through your breath through your natural whole body functions you really understand who you are